Welcome back guys. What I have in front of me is Lunt Solar Systems ADMT. It's part of their modular line. And what it's designed to do is be used for nighttime and uh, daytime solar use just by simply removing the module and replacing it. Um, it's very convertible in that sense. And uh, it was really appealing to me. Um, this particular setup here, I have on a Los Mandy dovetail with risers. Um, you'll have to excuse my cable management. This is pretty much how I go with Velcro grow straps and that sort of thing. Um, I've built this system around the ASI Air. And uh, as you can see, I have the mini guide scope. Um, this is the 1600, the ASI Air Plus here. Um, do straps, all that kind of jazz that you need to go along. Um, it's one thing to have a telescope like this, this modular, for viewing. I mean, right out of the box, it's it's capable of doing that. But when you introduce photography into the scenario, what happens is you need a lot of extra equipment. You need, obviously, cameras and that sort of thing. And um, changing modules out becomes somewhat of an issue and cumbersome at that point. Um, the reason I, I went with the risers is because you have to be able to access these these knobs to release the the um, the module itself and also for clearance purposes for uh, auto focusing and that sort of thing. Um, so this worked out really well for me and I was able to incorporate the original rings and also keep the uh, solar finder which is here and it also doubles as a handle. So that worked out really good. Um, with this, I have the all the wires I need, everything I need to go. Um, obviously the mount would plug into the Air Plus and then there would be, you know, the, you got your camera connection here. So here's a look at the solar module itself. Um, this has the blocking 1800 filter on it um, and I plan on having a separate camera for this that would already be installed but so the way I have this all connected and rigged up if you're interested I will I'll put a parts list on there for the hardware you need and that sort of thing but it wasn't real expensive to do this what it allows me to do is, is swap it out really quick and and maintain uh, the ability to do photography with it. As you can see, I've got these little white pieces of tape on some of the, the wires. Now, what I have to do, aside from swapping the module, obviously first, I have to disconnect some, some hardware. So all of these white tabs are wires that have to be removed. Um, nothing actually comes out of the ASI Air Plus the way I have it, which is really cool. Um, but there's only five of these in total. So maybe I have this turn where you can see it a little better, but so I'm going to unhook the uh, guide scope. I'm going to disconnect the autofocuser and I'm going to take my dew strap off of the guide scope. So that's these three. And what I can do with these, the way I have it is just wrap them around up here around the handle and use the strap itself to kind of secure those. Um, let's see if you can see that. That just gets them out of the way. Um, disconnect the power supply for the 1600 camera and disconnect the USB cable that's for the camera itself. Now at this point, I'm completely ready to disconnect the, the nighttime module itself. So. As you can see, I have to reach around to get this bottom one. That's also why I needed risers. Well, that in combination with the, this would drag if I had a regular dovetail plate. Um, so that's, that is the nighttime module. Um, in this particular case, it's a good idea to take the um, guide scape off first because then I can set it this way, out of the way temporarily. So then we have our hydrogen alpha module. Let's take the cap off of that. And I place it in here this way.
and secure the thumb screws. Make sure that that's flush when you put it in. And now all I have to do is take the uh, original USB cable that was connected to the camera itself and attach it to the camera I have here, which um, I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna use yet. I've been using a 290mm, but I don't get a full disc with that. So whenever I choose my camera, I'll have it where I can just, you know, I'm ready to go. So it's that simple. It's just um, five cables, no headache. Um, I could do this breakdown in, in less than a couple minutes and, and have things stored away. While we're at it, we might as well talk about the scope a little bit. Um, like I said earlier, you have a solar finder here. Um, and it works really well. It's just got like a hole in it and you line it up with the sun, you see a pin point on the other side. And when it's centered, you're, you're directly looking at the sun. Um, the dew shield is retractable on this model. Again, this is the ADMT. Let's take this off and have a look. So for primary glass, we have an FPL 53 doublet which is an excellent uh, entry level APO. And, and actually, quite frankly, for me personally, it's, it's all you need if you're doing mono. Um, I, I do everything narrow band anyway because of my sky conditions. Uh, beautifully made, um, everything on it is, is really well made. It, I get the sense of like, uh, even I would even go as far as to say Takahashi as far as quality goes. Um, it's, it's really well made and uh, you just, you get that feel with it in your hands and, and just looking at it, it's, it's an excellent product. So this model uses a pressure tune and I've used a tilt tune for a long time. I must admit that I love this a whole lot more and this will uh, tune the scope to your particular environment so that it's the most efficient at collecting data or for views. It works really well. This telescope system is on the pricey side, um, but for what you get, if if you shop around for solar telescopes, it's it's very reasonable. Um, I have had uh, nothing but good experiences with their staff. Uh, they're very small team and they're they're really good at customer service like they are very responsive and just very helpful and i can't say enough about that excellent team they got and um it in the workmanship of their 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 products is is apparent that they they care about what they do if you're in the market for an fpl 53 doublet then you can purchase this scope without the HA module. Uh, in other words, you can get it with just the rack and pinion focuser or Crayford or whatever style you like. And the beauty of that is it's reasonably priced and you can do like I did and buy the module, the HA module later and just attach it at that time. That's how I purchased this scope. Really happy with it. I was a little um, skeptical about the rack and pinion focuser, but uh, this one is actually really nice and the, the dual speed, it, it's really smooth and there's no play in it. It's very well made. Um, the finish on the scope is nice. I like the colors. I like, I pretty much like everything about it. Um, I know it's not for, for everyone, but um, I posted a short video a few days ago and um, it seemed like Lunt Solar Systems kind of liked it. So I figured I'd make a video and show how I set this up for photography, astrophotography. It's, um, it works well for me. And if this isn't what you want to do with yours, it, it might give you some ideas. Um, and this Air Plus is just down with Velcro. I use it for a lot of different systems now. so. It's, I, I got it where it's interchangeable. I'll just pull it off. Um, I could thread it through the Lost Mandy on the bottom, but like I said, I, I use it on other things. So, but uh, 
that's the scope. Um, if you got any questions about it, feel free to ask. Um, would I have added quite a bit of weight doing mine this way, but um, nothing unmanageable. Uh, this could easily run on a uh, EQ5 or probably even a fix and mount, um, pretty sure. But uh, really nice scope. I've been enjoying it. I don't have any um, one-shot color photos because I, I don't do that here. My skies are typically like that, and when they're not, they're it's windy and there's a jet stream to deal with. So uh, I don't need light pollution in my life. On top of everything else, I've got people moving in all around me. That's and they they don't realize that dogs are have uh, wolves for ancestors and. They turn on night lights for them to go pee and that kind of thing. So it's uh, it's, it's pretty challenging around here too. Um, I do have a good field of view all the way around. Um, east isn't isn't all that great because I'm looking over the house, but <laughs> I can't complain about it. Um, I've got a really good sight line to a water tower that you'll see me use a lot for focusing and, and different tests and that sort of thing. But I, I've had nothing but but enjoyment out of this scape honestly and like i said if if you're trying to go from like a, a lower end refractor to buying your first uh doublet this is an fpl 53 doublet and it it's under a thousand dollars assuming that you you leave the ha out of it and you just buy the scope itself um and later on if you get interested in in the hydrogen spectrum of uh, solar astrophotography you're ready to go that's what really is appealing to me about this thing um i can put this on a mount run it all night and then the next morning when the sun starts coming up i can just pull a few cords out swap modules and i and i'm up running again for solar which solar is really important to me if you know uh that's one of my things. Um, I really enjoy it. It's uh, kind of amusing that people don't to me because like you chase all these stars, some of them, you know, millions of light years away and you've got this one right here staring you in the face. So it's like, uh, why don't you just study that one, you know, but I don't know. Um, seems like more and more people are getting interested in it and a modular design is, is still really cool to me. Uh, I can't emphasize that enough. I just feel like it's the bee's knees. Um, sure, you could have a separate solar scope or you could have a Daystar quirk or that sort of thing. Um, and, but it's just a one scope, one go, one. It makes me think of Transformers. That's what I grew up on. But anyway, um, as I said, it's a really good company. Um, I've had really good experiences with them and nothing but good things to say about the scape itself. Absolutely love it. Um, I just can't emphasize that enough. And I hope that, uh, for you guys that are thinking about buying this or have one and you're looking for a setup, um, maybe this will help you. It's just the 2.5 risers, lost Mandy plate. It's bolted up underneath. Everything worked out good. I got to keep my um, solar finder and uh, everything's integrated really well. Just plug and play, five cords, ready to go. There you have it. I wish all of you, not this, but clear skies.